Fall is by far my favorite season of the year, so excitement levels are particularly high for September's plan with me. Before diving in though, I want to say a huge thank you to Squarespace for once again sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building beautiful websites, online stores, and more. I personally use it to run my own site, and I've been so impressed with how easy it is to use. More on them later. I post a new plan with me every single month, so if you haven't already, make sure you have hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future ones. Well, let the planning begin. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I was struggling a bit to come up with the concept for September spreads, and it wasn't until I found an old magazine in my childhood bedroom that I started feeling inspired. So aside from the craft paper, anything else you see me paste into my journal today is a random page from that magazine. So I guess my journaling tip this month is flip through old newspapers, magazines, or brochures to see if any colors, patterns, or words that are in them speak out to you because it's such a great way to reuse paper materials while also adding something unique to your spreads. September is going to be a really busy month for me, so it wasn't the most practical thing for me to choose a one page month at a glance layout, but once I paired the text paper with the craft paper half circle, I didn't have it in me to backtrack. I just loved how this looked too much. I added a colorful drop shadow to the calendar with a Tombow in the shade 772. It will be linked down below along with links to all of the other things you see me use in today's video. Last month I created a spread to plan out my blog posts and I loved it so much that I decided to create a content brainstorm spread for writing down ideas for blog posts, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Speaking of my blog, Squarespace has been the platform I've been using to run my site, CaitlinDeSilva.com. For those of you who don't know, I started my online journey as a book blogger back in high school, so starting a blog this year has felt like a wonderful return to my roots, and Squarespace has made creating extra content for you guys each week easier than ever. One of the blog posts you guys really seem to love is my bullet journal plan with me posts that include high quality photos of all the spreads I create on video. Thanks to Squarespace, I'm able to simply add in photos, videos, and links into my blog posts so that a one-stop shop is available for all of you. My love for aesthetically pleasing visuals also appreciates the fact that I don't need to invest tons of time or hire a web designer to create beautiful posts. So if you're interested in joining the blogging world, Squarespace has got you covered. You can check out squarespace.com for a free trial and use the URL squarespace.com slash Caitlin's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Be sure to also check out my blog for a bonus spread and access to a PDF containing 50 bullet journal spread ideas to give you inspo when you're having your next planner session. I loved the added doodle touches I made to the spread. Instead of using a ruler to make all of the lines super precise, I freehanded it and let some of those wonky line moments happen because I think the imperfections suit the ripped out magazine paper quite well. As a creator, I go through highs and lows when it comes to having inspiration for content. And right now I'm grateful to be in a big high period. There's so much content that I really am excited to make but I'm being held back by the fact that there's just not enough time in the day to get it all done right away. So now more than ever, it's important for me to write those ideas down so I don't forget them. Save them for a future me. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Glue tape is the best thing ever. All the gluing I did in the spreads this month was super simple to do because the glue tape I'm using from Tombow is easy to use and didn't leave my fingers a sticky mess. Whenever I'm without this, I desperately miss it. I wanted to dedicate a spread to self-care this month because as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be really busy in September. So this is always a good reminder to schedule in that me time. <laughs> left page I'm writing down some self-care ideas like have a takeout night, 60 seconds of deep breathing, try making a new dessert, and do a digital declutter as well as a few others. And then on the right page I decided to draw out three habit trackers for things like hydration, working out which the working out that I've been doing lately is hit workouts, and expressing gratitude. 
Last week, I posted a video in which I reacted to my old bullet journal videos. It was really so cool to travel back to 2016 and see my first spreads and witness how much they've changed throughout the years. One noticeable difference about 2020 was how much I've embraced this scrapbook look. And I think the reason I have is because it's just such a fun style to play around with. I love how it looks in this page in particular. I think the combination of photographed images with bold text is just gorgeous. Budgeting spreads and spending trackers are some of my most requested layouts and I'm so excited for you guys to see how this one turns out because it's one of my faves. I used a craft paper circle and a white jelly roll pen to visually plan out my spending goals for September. I typically focus my budgeting spreads on money to spend after fixed expenses like rent and bills are taken care of so my circle only has a spot for four categories, food, clothing, home, and other. category has its own table for tracking what item and or store I shopped at, whether I paid using credit, cash, or debit, and how much was actually spent. I also added a reminder at the bottom of the right page that says, when you make a purchase, ask yourself, will my wallet forgive me? It's there because I think it's a funny addition to an otherwise pretty serious or boring spread, but it also serves as a great reminder to spend with intention. I've really been making a point of asking myself, do I really need this when I'm shopping? Because I think it can be so easy to add things to your cart mindlessly. And I don't really do it to spend less money or to save money, although that is a nice perk to not buying as many things. I'm really doing it more now to protect my home environment and not fill it with just things that I don't really need or care about. You know, my apartment has enough things in it already. And uh, yeah, I just wanna be more intentional with what I do choose to bring in here. I'm a big reader, so I wanted to add a fall reading list with some titles that I'm looking forward to reading this season. I started the year with a reading goal of 60 books and I will be well past that goal by the end of the month. It's just been a really great year of reading for me so far. To add some color to the spread, I decided to print out the covers of the books as opposed to just listing them out. I just finished reading Well Met by Jen DeLuca, so I am pumped for her second release in September. Sophie Kinsella and Christina Lauren are at the top of my favorite authors list, and both are coming out with books in October too, and I couldn't be more thrilled. Sophie Kinsella's book is called Love Your Life, and Christina Lauren's is In a Holidays. I'll have these titles linked down below if you wanna find out more about them. Next to that page, I created a simple week at a glance layout for drawing out a basic two column table for writing down mini to-do lists or any special appointments or events. Since I did so much pacing in the first couple of spreads, I wanted to balance it out with something a bit more back to the basics. The pink drop shadow makes it a bit more interesting to look at and I actually think this is a really nice and clean layout for those weeks where you want somewhere to write things down but you don't have the time or the energy to do anything super time consuming. I'm actually planning on doing an updated bullet journaling in under 10 minutes video. So if you wanna see more easy to create spreads like this one, stay tuned for that video. big fan of all the pacing that was happening in Harlow this month, but I am curious as always, which spread was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section down below. A big thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Check out that link in the description box below to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed this one, and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye everyone. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers